These are the most common types of graph people do, but Stata can do a lot more complicated graphs than the ones that I'm about to show you. I'm going to start with showing you how to do a histogram. So you would use this if you're going to check for normality, say. Let's go to Stata. The data set that I'm using is the same one that I've used in the previous two videos. If we just take a look at it, the variable that I'm going to make a histogram of is this ratio variable. So let's say we wanted to check the normality because we're putting it into a regression or something. The code for that is simply hist in the name of the variable. So you'll see when I run that, the graph appears in a new window. You'll notice also that instead of having ratio here, it's got the name of the label. We'll talk about how to change that in, in a minute. Another common graph that you might want to do just to explore your data is a box plot. So here we put graph and then box. And this is the name of our variable. So we're going to do a box plot of the GDP P in our data. Same again, highlight, control D, and you'll see that it comes up in a new window. Now, I didn't close down the old graph window, and it's not there anymore. So it just has one, win one graph in one window at a time. And then, nice and logical, uh, to get a scatter plot, you type the word scatter. So it's quite easy to guess. And then we're going to have GDP on the y-axis, so we put that first, and then debt on the x-axis. Let's show you that one. Now, bar graphs. So here what I've done is a bar graph of GDP. What that's going to do is take the mean of GDP. But the other thing I want it to do is take the mean of GDP for certain regions. So I want it to group my rows using the information in the variable called region. Now to do that, you use the command over. It doesn't quite make sense in my head why it should be over. I can kind of see it. Um, but if you want to group your data, this is the command you use. And then just to compare that, we'll make a um, bar graph and see what happens if we just put in two variables um, with a space between them. You'll notice how that works. So here we go. This is the bar graph. And it's taken the means for all the Asian countries, all the European countries, all the North American countries, etc. And then if we, um, I'll show you the data for this. We've got GDP and we've got a variable called debt. Imagine it's taken the mean of all of these numbers and a mean of all of these numbers. And that's what it's going to plot when we run this piece of code. So that's the mean of GDP and it's just dumped the mean of debt beside it. Not sure why you do that graph, but just to show you what happens when you put two variables after graph bar. And then if you wanted that bar graph horizontal, sometimes, and sometimes people do that, you just put graph h bar. We'll show you that using the same variables, GDP and debt. So now that's just turned that graph around 90 degrees. And then we can do some things with that horizontal bar graph. Let's um, stack those two means instead. Sometimes you want a stat bar graph. 
Um, and then we can take that stack bar graph and we can split it up by the different regions, so Europe, Asia, North America, using our over region in the bracket. And then we'll do the same with country as well, just so you can compare. So let's just get a stacked bar graph, stacked one on top of the other. Let's split that up by region, so it's calculated for all the Asian countries, all the European countries, etc. And then I suppose we could do it for each individual country. So that's all our 36 countries. You probably want to give your um, graph some axes labels, um, especially if they're not just for you exploring. Uh, let's start with a bar graph. So we'll take our um, GDP by region bar graph. And then to add some labels, we would use Y title command. And in the brackets, we write what we want that um, label to be. Then you might think that it would be X title for your X axis label. It's not in bar graph, which is why I've used bar graph to demonstrate it. It's actually this B1 title, which isn't logical. You would never guess it. Here's the graph that we want to put some X and Y labels onto. And here's using our Y title and our B1 title. There you go, we've got mean GDP and region of the world there. You might want to put some colour in your graph. Um, and I've tried to emphasise here, when I've written out the word colour, that we want to use the American spelling of it. Don't include that U. So if we want to make all the bars the same colour, here's our graph bar GDP over region. Then we use the command bar. We put a one in, we leave just a one there. And then we write colour and specify a colour. If we wanted to make each bar a different colour, then we go graph bar GDP. We have to put this command in, in front of the over region. And then after the bar command, we say, okay, the first bar, we want the color green. The second bar, we want the color red. The third bar, we want the color blue, etc., etc. So we'll end up with a bar graph that looks like this if we want all the colours the same or if we want it um, more multicoloured it will make the graphs like this but what you might want to use because um, that's quite a long winded way of coding is just use preset schemes so within Stata they have these different uh, commands so let's just say we want a black and white graph. Here's our graph again. Um, we just use the command scheme and we specify that we want that scheme. And you'll see if I run that, that we get varying shades of gray then. Sometimes you need to add some extra text onto the graph. In that case, we can use the command note. So for our data, we just want to say where the data's came from. You can see it's added a little note there in the bottom left. And finally, you'll want to save your graph if you've made it so that you can put it into other documents. To do that, just write graph, then export, in speech marks, put the name of the graph in the file format you want, so I'd recommend .png. If you close the graph, actually, it will do the last graph that you um, got it to run. So it's Control D that. I'll go to my uh, C drive, so I've um, set a working directory already from reading my data. 
and you can see there that I've got a graph there if I open it up it's the same one next videos descriptive statistics along with statistical analyses